So I'm Jorge Garcia Molinos, and I work at the Arctic Research Center here in Hokkaido University. I'm an aquatic ecologist, uh, and I work with climate change ecology. Uh, my main area of research is uh, about how climate change is modifying the distribution of biodiversity on the planet. For example, we are following uh, changes in, in water temperature in rivers in Hokkaido and, and, and what the implications for the species in those rivers are. And we are seeing that uh, some species uh, uh, are responding by uh, going upwards in the rivers because the rivers are becoming warmer. I think probably the, the most important evidence we are producing, and along with many other researchers around the world, is this evidence of how climate change is modifying the habitat of the species and as a result how biodiversity is moving to different places. And the important thing of that is when you have a species moving, you have a species changing in, in composition at particular locations, and the ecosystems therefore are also changing in the way they function and the services they provide to us. So I use a variety of methods because I don't think there is a, a single method that has answers for everything. So I do experiments in the field and in the lab. I, I do uh, monitoring, sampling in the field. I also do computer modeling. So I think it's very important for researchers to have this diversity of tools that we can use to do research. Solving these issues, I think it will help us to understand how we can uh, manage uh, human activities and how we can improve our ecosystems. Uh, because I think that uh, protecting and conserving biodiversity and healthy ecosystems in, in general is, is the only way forward to attain a sustainable future. Well, I, I have always been interested in, in nature and the plants and animals that live around us. Uh, but maybe at the beginning, I never had this intention to become a researcher, really. But uh, during my bachelor degree, I have a, a very inspiring professor of aquatic ecology, and I got a scholarship to work as a research assistant there. And that gave me the opportunity to start doing research and go to the field. And I think that was really the, the first moment where I started to be interested in research. I think for me the most uh, uh, attractive thing or the thing I enjoy the most is being able to go outside and, and do field work in, in nature. I think one thing, I'm kind of a positive person and, and I always try to look at the glass half uh, full. So when something comes that is wrong or unexpected, uh, I always try to think that it's temporary and better things will come afterwards. And I think from that point of view, doing research that you enjoy and you like helps because it helps you to, to go forward. I perceive nature as something very dynamic, alive, and, and also something that is very giving. Uh, so for me, because I, I work with environments and human impacts on, on nature, it's always surprising how life and nature uh, is resilient and how nature reborn uh, despite all the impacts and, and misuse that we make of nature sometimes. The first thing is to, to enjoy what you are doing, uh, because in, enjoying and being interested in what you do is really essential. There is no point in doing research if, if you do something that you don't like, just for the sake of doing it. I think also another important thing is to, to be consistent and to be positive. Being ecologists always tend to look from bottom up, uh, from the climate change to the species to where they go. But uh, I was thinking that, especially for indigenous people, the traditional way of life, that they rely on these wild species that in the future we are predicting to, to move to different places. I was thinking that it would be also interesting to see how a top-down view of how those movements actually are impacting people that are in a place. If through my research, I can, even if it is in a modest way, uh, contribute to solve these uh, global problems like climate change crisis that we have and, and to improve our, our society a more sustainable future, that would be really uh, an achievement. To find something that really motivates you and uh, encourages you to do research and through that to, to try to solve uh, some of these global problems that we have.